Welcome to Mary Temu's Mass, or some people will say Christ Mass, Mary Christ Mass. And they try to put some, put Christ back in Christmas, and I'm trying to show you that Christ was never in Christmas, Temu's was. Now we got an interesting study here, we're coming up to Jesus versus Temu's and Christmas itself. We got five pages. Some of them are large print. I don't know how they became like that. And <clears throat> we're doing the video and the audio recording. We're doing it live also. I'm going to try to maybe finish this study today. And I may have to do this in two parts. I may have to go about live. I have to switch and save the video to, and then start on the second one. But we've been looking at Tamus, and this is study number 10. And we've come to who? The Bible? The resurrection? Where? What? Adonis? When? Morning? Esther? Easter? Inanna, which is Esther, Easter, women, marriage. Now we got Jesus versus Tamus. And remember, I've got I've got one whole full page of references and bibliology of all the people of their brains I picked for this study. And this is what they say. This is what the scholars say. And there's any problems with, with what we have done, you can go to our, our web page and you can download this copy for Word document or uh, whatever you can do. And you can print or read on the screen and you can see whose brains, their names, their books that I picked for this information. This is the scholars. So Jesus versus Tamus. Jesus and the Akkadian, A-K-K-A-D-I-A-N God, Tamus, were both referred to as shepherds. Tamus was called the shepherd of the sheep and Jesus was the shepherd of men. They're both shepherds. One's the shepherd of God and one is the Antichrist shepherd. Both of them have sheep. John chapter 10, Jesus said his sheep are the Israelites and other sheep, the Gentiles, would be the church. They were both associated with dying and rising again, and we studied that. Tammuz died, and he arose out of the grave, and he'd go back into Hades and hell and all that. Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures, was buried and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures, never to die again, went to hell once with our sins, and never to return to, to hell, and is seated at the right hand of the Father today. So we got an artificial shepherd, we got a real shepherd, we got an artificial death and resurrection, and we got the real death and resurrection. We got a copy cat, we got an antichrist. This is the Christ you want to put back in Christmas, and not Jesus Christ, the Antichrist of Tammuz. Remember, Mary Christ Mass. M-A-R-Y-C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S-S. -S. And if you really want to put Christ back in Christmas, call it the Antichrist. Mary Antichristmas. And yeah, Antichristmas. That's how I feel about it. You got you can believe whatever you want to believe. You can deny the facts I brought to you. Jesus died for the sins of humanity, while Tamus was killed out of the rage of, by his lover. I didn't write that. A scholar, a scholar looked at the facts of Jesus and looked at the facts of Tamus, and Jesus died for man. Tamus was killed by his lover, Esther. Because she got angry. 
It is true that Tammuz was killed as part of a sacrifice, but it was not something that he did willingly. I didn't write that. The author of, the, of, the, of this paper and the information given recognized the fact is that Tammuz died, but he didn't die because he wanted to die for the, for the creation. He died because he was killed. Like Jesus was killed. But Jesus came and suffered and died. The day that Jesus was born in the manger in Bethlehem, he knew he was going to Calvary's cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is not willing that any should perish, but that you believe on the gift of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, on the other hand, willingly went to the cross to be crucified. If the gospel text, text is to be taken at face value. Now, I didn't write that. That is, the, that is where one of the brains that I picked. Now, the writer of, of this thing, I, some of the writers, it, it's remarkable that the fact is that they're agnostic. Well, we're not really sure. And in their agnostic view of God and Jesus and Tammuz, they recognize a fact. Tammuz did not die willingly. Jesus did. They were both killed. But one of them was killed for the sacrifice of creation for man. The other one was killed because of lover's revenge. Another difference is Tammuz appears to only save people from a physical starvation and death. Remember, Tammuz is associated with crops. Easter is associated with crops. Tammuz can, can help you if you're starving. But he cannot help you eternally. He cannot get you in and out of hell. He did not save people from sin or judgment for disobedience to God or God. Again, I did not write that. An agnostic wrote that, or a Christian wrote that, and they're saying as far as Tammuz and Jesus, Jesus died to save people. Tammuz has no eternal saving power at all. Tammuz offered material prosperity in the present life, healthy flocks, and plentiful crops. Jesus, however, offers spiritual renewal, eternal life after a final bodily resurrection. Now, that was written by a Christian. Tammuz has a God can give you, while you're living, healthy flocks, plenty of corn. Jesus Christ can offer you eternal life. And he can give you spiritual blessings. Both to the just and unjust, the Bible says he gives rain. Jesus promised eternal life while Tammuz promised a material, a mater, materially abundant. But still, he has no power of life to those that worship him. Jesus promises eternal life. Tammuz can't offer that promise. That's that's difference between, between Jesus and Tammuz. But they got some similarities. But similarities end at eternal life. All right, so Christmas. We're at Christmas. And we have how many points? So we may have to go may do to a part two. I want to finish this study up. We've got 12 points with points within points. So I think you know what? I'm going to stop right there. I think that's good enough right there. I'm not going to uh, Lord willing I think we're just going to stop right there. Jesus versus Tamus. I think that's a good stopping point.